When an escrow agent falls in love. Hide the money. Hide the money. When the escrow agent falls in love, hide the money. So, uh, terrible story today. Wire fraud. Wire fraud happens all different kinds of ways. Most of the time people think uh, they got stuck with like a phishing email or something like that. No, no, there's just criminals. <laughs> just, just criminals at the title, title company. Um, and I just wanted to go through a story that's uh, not going to be the first. And, and, and uh, just, uh, just to emphasize how uh, messed up things can get. Uh, in a real estate transaction, uh, especially when you don't see it coming. So I'm going to go on the story here. Um, it is, I don't know if you can see the headline. It says, Virginia Beach Title Company owner sent to prison after giving 715000 in escrow funds to a man she met online. Now, this morning we were talking about how average home prices may top a million dollars in like 2042. Uh, so I don't know what the, I don't know Virginia Beach real estate at all. I'm from St. Louis. But uh, 715000 is a good chunk of check. Good check of check. Change. <sighs> anyway, here we go. When the man Tammy Hamron met through a dating website, told her he was in trouble and needed money, the title company owner was eager to help. Hamron met Leo in January of 2018 through Our Time, an online dating site for people over 50, according to court records. Oh. So... Online dating, I don't know, not a great plan, but hey. Initially, Hamron, now 58, sent Leo money from her personal funds, but when he said that he needed substantially more, she started dipping into real estate escrow accounts she controlled through her longtime business, Preferred Escrow and Title in Virginia Beach. Now, it's fascinating because a lot of people that own title companies are lawyers. It's just kind of the way it is. So I... It never says in this article if this woman is a lawyer, okay? So I don't know. Um, anyway, she knew better. Uh, as real estate agents, we know we're not to mix uh, personal funds and escrow funds ever in any way. Uh, while she knew it was wrong to withdraw from the accounts, Hammond was sure Leo would pay it back, and she wanted to help him come to the United States, according to documents filed by her attorney. In all, she wired him $715,000 in escrow money. Now, I don't know where Leo was. I guess he's the Nigerian prince. Um, but just a terrible idea. So the date, by, fe by February 15th, 2018, or by February 5th, 2018, just week after Hamron met Leo, she realized she'd been scammed. So open the article here. It says, they met January 2018, and by February 5th of 2018, this woman had given this man, man, we don't know who it is, $715,000 in escrow money from her business account. So her whole entire career has now just been blown up. Uh, on Monday, a U.S. District Judge sentenced Hammer to 18 months in prison. He also ordered six months of home confinement after her release, then three years of probation. And she must reimburse all the money she took, which is a fascinating problem. I see. How's this woman going to get a job? Like, who's going to hire somebody that, at least in the title world, that took from the, uh, the escrow funds? I mean, it's just bad. So far, she's paid back about 400000 leaving a balance of 315000 Some of the money came from the sailor home. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care where the money came from. If she, if she was doing cocaine and selling that, I don't care. You need to pay these people back somehow. Um. While federal sentencing guidelines suggested she served two and a half to three and a half years, uh, the uh, U.S. assistant attorney recommended the 18-month 18, 18 term. Uh, and then in justifying that, they said the longtime prosecutor also noted she'd been scammed and hadn't personally benefited from the theft, which he said is unusual in wire fraud cases. She's lost everything. She had an excellent reputation as a settlement agent before this incident, and it's bad. But she's taken as many actions as she can to remedy this situation. So, 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 seven hundred fifteen thousand is is relative to forty eight real estate closings. Now, that's the end of the article. It makes me sick. I I hate when people do this kind of stuff, and I I don't want to hear their excuses. 
because I would never be able to get away with it myself. So um, I did have some thoughts. I did have some questions, and I wanted to go over them with you. One, uh, the first sign that you're in trouble is you're on a dating site and someone's asking for money. I mean, this took a month. It only took a month for her to give away 715000 Steal it from her business and give it to this man. Um, and then what happens if you're one of the 48 people who can't close on their house because of this? So it's possible she had both sides of the account, so that's only 24. But I always tell people, um, you know, they ask me, you know, should I buy a house first or should I sell my house? Should I try and do it on the same day? And I always tell them no. There's too many, there's too many moving parts. So um, I had a deal where they were closing on the same day and my buyer lost his job and he, and he had another one, but we were going to have to push back the closing for a week. Well, these people had, uh, you know, already bought another house uh, or were going to buy another house on the same day. And so it just blew up. And then there was somebody else involved in the transaction as well. The people that were going to buy my, my person's old house. So that's three people impacted by this buying and selling on the same day. But, um, you know, on this title company thing, uh, clients kind of talk to their agents most of the time and say like, who should we use for title? And they kind of go with what their agents, you know, says it's just kind of the way it is. If you're an agent and this woman has stolen the escrow money. Okay. You're in, you're, you've now put yourself in a bad spot with your clients for, you know, you, you recommend, you think any clients can say, well, you recommended this person. So I'm going to, you know, it's okay. So you're, you're ruining more than just this person's reputation. You're killing all the real estate agents that are involved in this stuff. Seller's agent isn't, if you're on the buyer side, seller agent isn't going to care at all about your problem, especially in this market. They're just going to be like, really? So it makes everybody look really, really bad. Um, I was wondering what you thought about the sentence. Is it too light? Um, put a, put a comment below. I, I don't feel really, I mean, it's for me, it's hard enough to be in business. Okay. So when somebody is in business and seems to be doing well enough that they have $715,000 in escrow, none of that, which is theirs, but they're holding it. And then they give it to someone else. I, I just don't have any sympathy for that. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I, I was thinking, is it a victimless crime? But no, it's no, there's quite a few victims in this one. Um, and then finally, in Missouri, the MREC has the right to audit your escrow account. Okay. So as far as I know, most brokerages don't even hold an escrow account for closings. They may hold an escrow account for rents, things of that nature, but they certainly won't hold closing funds on purpose. Um, I don't, I don't hold an escrow account for this reason. Um, you can see where uh, this could be a problem if uh, some employee at the title company was going to act act out. We honestly, we once we get we're, we're required in our contract to turn over the escrow money within a certain amount of time from the from the point of the contract starting. So this is a bad deal. Um, it, you know, can you guard yourself against this? I, you know, if someone's going to be a criminal, they're going to be a criminal. I don't know that any sort of um, heavy fines or laws are going to prevent this person from doing this. She got scammed and, uh, you know, she did the wrong thing. That's all there is to it. There's no amount of laws or regulations that's going to stop this, especially when she's the owner and can write the numbers however she wants to um, in this case. But, you know, her career should be over in title. I, I can't imagine her getting out of it. Um, and I, I, I feel bad maybe for the person, but not the crime. I don't know. I don't have a lot of empathy, but uh, let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, leave me a comment uh, below. Maybe I'm way off base. Maybe maybe because she's going to try and pay it back, it's okay. But it really bugs me. Uh, that's all I have. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I'll catch you on the next one.